Alrighty guys, check this out, man. I'm here trying to put a video up for you guys, man, and I tell you, man, this is some of the stuff that kind of gets you irritated, guys, is when you try to go upload a video and it tells me that the item cannot be shared while it is still referencing media on camera. And I do not know what they mean. I mean, I have my memory card in. I'm not sure if I need to have my phone plugged in. I may try that. But yeah, guys, this is the stuff that I go through and uh, trying to put this stuff together for you guys. But I uh, just wanted to show you guys, man, I'm still trying to work and grind on that. So with that being said, I may just have to start up, like I said, continue on with the vlog that I'm doing today. So with that being said, guys, I'll holler at you guys in the next clip. spine and rear deltoid so this is one of my favorite movements and as you can see here the next movement that we performed was the lap pull down and on the lap pull down we actually did four sets of 15 right around 130 pounds um, really trying to work on the thickness of the back um, the primary muscle group in this exercise if you're new to the channel will be the lats and the next movement, as you can see here, I'm just getting the weights and stuff prepared. Um, some of you guys may call it a, ride, a wide grip dead row, um, or you may call it a pin lay row. I'm not really sure which, I'm pretty sure pin lay row is probably the um, right uh, word for it, but we actually did four sets of 15, no, four sets of six to eight with this one. Um, we actually started off with uh, 
135 as you can see here and get myself a pair and as I pull up I'm really squeezing and activating the mid, mid of the back which is the trapezoids again really trying to um, focus on getting a good squeeze and here's my second set I actually jumped it up 30 pounds so now we're at 165 and for my last two sets here which you're about to see one more <laughs> So here is my third set. My third set I went to 25 pounds, so we actually went up to 185 pounds. Get myself prepared, get your mind right, boom, there we go. You see I got two, three, four, five, one more. Six, good deal. Alrighty guys, so kept it at six at 185. Um, I'm pretty sure that I could probably get about, you know, 4 to 5 to 225 or more. Maybe I can get that sick, guys, but um, this is my first time actually doing this movement. So, just want to test it out and see how, it, you know, feel on my upper back. So, that's another movement. Leading on to the next exercise we're about to get into. So, I'm just going to let this roll play out. Check it out. Alrighty, guys. So the next movement is one of the movements that um, we used to do back in football. Man, football training is the upright rows. So being more exposed at the top, squeezing with the traps, getting those deltoids, the middle, the back, or the rear. Um, really focus on squeezing at the top. So here's the side view as well as you can see here, man. I feel pretty good today, man. This workout was actually. Um, Man, it, it was real good. Intensity was there. You know, I had short breaks. Yeah, I'm, you know, filling up on that water, man. Making sure I get my water intake in. But right after this, guys, I went into another movement just to add in a little bit more um, cardio. Um, so what I actually did was just the last back movement of this workout, and we decided to go with some uh, sled pulls. So what we did, we're actually facing the sled you're about to see here I loaded up with what's that six plates and pulling right towards like my rear cage getting in a good squat pulling it being explosive with that pull and I actually did five sets so I went down and back and I did that five times and let me tell you guys my heart rate was up to the roof um, part of my first time actually doing some type of um, you know, movement like this where I'm actually incorporate cardio in, you know, some uh, strength training. So, man, this is pretty good. And I think I'm actually going to start incorporating this a lot more. So, which leads us off to the last two exercises, guys. Now we're about to get into the tricep portion of the workout. As you can see here, man, repping it out with those push ups, man, close grip. Um, I believe on this particular set, I did about 50 something. Can't remember exactly. And then on this set, I think I got about 27. So right around probably 80, 80 something push ups total. Man, my arms are spent. So uh, I got one more movement, guys, for today's workout. Um, I know I said I was going to do back and biceps, but I normally do back and triceps. So I'm going to keep it the same, not going to switch it up. So as you just seen, I just did my first uh, first movement of triceps, which was close grip push-ups. Did them till failure. And then we're gonna do one more tricep movement, which is gonna be the cable rope pull-down. So we're gonna go two sets, just burn out to failure. And that's gonna be the workout, guys. So hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy this last exercise. Alrighty, guys. So as you can see, man, I just told you guys, this is the last movement, rope cable pull-downs. Did about two sets and I did anywhere from 25 to 35 reps and we finished it off with some steady cardio guys like I said my cardio game is not like up to par if I was cutting um, just kind of just using that more for the heart condition man and just trying to get that going so um, hope you guys like this video like this commentary I haven't did a commentary in a while so Appreciate everybody who stick through the video. Comment below, guys. Tell me what you think. And like I said, we finished it off here, guys, with some ghosts. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. 
to the video and uh, see you guys in the next one.